The kingdom of God is not for weak, lazy people. The kingdom of God is for men and women who will take some time. Just Jesus, help me here. The kingdom of God is not for a bunch of slobs. The kingdom of God is for individuals that are disciplined, who have made up their mind. I'm going to do something and shape something and move something. And then you get churches begin to rise up and they become sensitized to what's happening in the education, political, social environment. And, and then the next thing you know, the next thing you know, we want to start ordaining all kinds of weird people. We want lesbians to be ordained and homosexuals to be ordained when the Bible is clear that that's an abomination before the Lord. Oh yes, I'm going to say it. I know this is national television. I'm going to say it. Someone needs to say it. It is demonic. And it has to be rebuked and cast out. Let God be God. Let the church rise up and be counted. Someone shout hallelujah. It's time for the real church to get up. It's time for the body of Christ to make a statement. He said there are agencies. That are standing in the way for individuals to access the kingdom of God. Jesus said the Pharisees posture themselves in the kind of way where they look religious. But they are an agency to keep people out of the power of God. Let church be church. Let's have a revival in the house of God. Let's hold the horns of the altar. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Turn from their wicked ways, seek my face and pray. He said, I'll heal your land. America, get up. America, fight for your nation. America, fight for God. Fight for what's right. 